What's up, YouTube or Jedi? We back with another video. For this video, we're gonna be reacting to Buck for Tough Bastard. Shout out my guy George in the comment for recommenders. I probably popped it up somewhat if I remember. Had a lot of concussions. I got short term memory loss. But um, we're gonna roll to 10,000 subscribers. Y'all subscribe. Appreciate the likes if y'all liking the videos. If y'all not, hey, it takes two seconds. Comment any more videos y'all want me to do. I'm gonna try to pin y'all compliments. Compliments. Comments. I don't edit nothing else, so if I mess up, I mess up. But hey, yeah, we're gonna do a giveaway at ten thousand subscribers, a hundred dollar giveaway. If we um, if we get ten thousand subscribers before the end of the year, out or I could, I just cash out, PayPal, yeah. But um, let's get to the video. I don't got nothing else to say. Y'all doing good though. Y'all blessed. Y'all positive. Y'all staying humble out here. Yeah. I looked into the eyes of um, many of the Frenchmen that what I passed tough. on the way out, and their eyes were huge, like big tennis balls, and they were glaring at you. They were on penis. something, I believe, and I knew we were going to be up against it. And that they were just unrelenting. Every ruck they climbed into, they booted us, they kicked us, and we just carried on playing and then giving back as much as we could. I think within about 15, 20 minutes in the first half, I got caught at the bottom of a ruck and got, got booted right in the face and oh. I lost three teeth on my uh, my right hand side. So I just carried on, got on with the game. And uh, just before half time. He played after somebody kicked his teeth out? Y'all know the pain, like, that should have been swole before, like, that should have been swole in like a few minutes. That's big as shit. He played with. That's like a root canal. Y'all know, y'all probably know what root canal is. My right hand shit. side. So I just carried on, got on with the game. And uh, just before half time, I went into another a defensive ruck and I grabbed the ball with two hands and I ripped it free. And then I looked up at the same time. And as I looked up, John Pierre Garraway was horizontal and he hit me straight in the middle of the forehead. Mm. Man, he knocked me out cold. It took me two minutes to come round. And uh, Jock Hobbs said, you can't go off, you've got to stay. We've got no one on the bench. They're all injured. And so we, we carried on playing. And then about 10 minutes into the second half, I went down over Daniel De Brocker and uh, ripped the ball off him. And as I stood up, Daniel kicked me right in the nuts. Damn. And it bloody hurt. So yeah, you just fucking a kick ball. You just keep on getting kicked and hit and shit. What the fuck, by the end of this game, I'm surprised you're alive. And as I stood up, Daniel kicked me right in the nuts. Man, did it bloody hurt. So I was cringing in there for a little while and, and uh, went, sat down on the ground to try and get my breath back and chucked a bit of water down there. And I thought nothing water. of it. And I carried on playing. And the, and the All Black changing room is very, very morbid, very, very quiet after a loss. And this is the first loss that I'd experienced in the All Black jersey. I decided to get dressed. I stood up, ripped my gear off, pulled my strides down. And then one of the guys from across the room, uh, I think it was Gary Witten or John Gallagher, and they saw something I didn't see originally, and they said, holy shit, look at that. One of my testicles had been ripped right out of the scrotum, hmm? and it was hanging between my, my legs, and what? there was blood, and there was uh, bits of... Uh, hey, yo. See, one of his nuts was just hanging? Boy, adrenaline is a fucking crazy... Oh, the stomach and... My stomach and nuts. Like, one of your nuts just hanging bleed oh my god fat tissue down all over the place and uh went had a quick shower and then basically went upstairs into a medical room and got it all tidied up and put back together <laughs> and uh you know just these sort of things do happen and you've just got to play on that's not tough yeah yeah what yeah uh, y'all consider, consider that tough I think that's as a from a if I was a coach, I wouldn't let my player go. I understand his coach probably didn't see his nuts bleeding. They didn't know till he pulled down his pants or his shorts, whatever he said, his strides. One of your nuts, it's like he ain't feel it, so that's adrenaline. That's some fuck. I don't. I, don't, I guess that's tough if y'all want to call that tough. I don't know if I see that as tough. But hey, y'all subscribe, like, comment. We're on the road 10,000 subscribers. Y'all stay blessed. Y'all stay positive. We out. Peace.